Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. This is Captain Gibbon Sr. here in Total War. I am here to explain to you how to set up and apply a siege configuration file for Movecraft. Um, this uses a few plugins. Firstly, Movecraft. Secondly, World Edit. Thirdly, World Guard and Vault. I believe is required as well for all those to mesh. Um, I may be wrong, but at any rate, get Vault 2. So, regions are made through World Guard, in which you can protect cities from certain actions that can happen in Minecraft, such as explosions, uh, fire spreading, uh, things of that nature. Each action, even down to building, um, opening chests, doors, levers, has a flag, and these flags can be turned on and off within regions. That's a part of World Guard. <coughs> World Guard regions are now, with Siege, capturable. You can capture them. You can set how much m daily income those regions give their owner. You can set a few different nodes that we'll look at, and also how to make this siege folder and apply it to your server. Alright, let's continue by going to the file side of this. Alright, so say you are on Google and you want to know what to do, how to get this siege on your server. Well, the first thing you're going to do is, well, probably see a Movecraft video, say uh, Bakayaros. You go, you check out this video, you realize there's an example file. Oh, it's just his voice, I can't handle it. Anyway, uh, example file within the link. Very helpful, thank you, Bakiaro. And um, you go to it. Notice, just notice this, sieges.yml. Good to note. That's what the file needs to be called to, for this to be recognized within the Movecraft folder not world edit or not world guard move craft so this is the example based on the cities and regions within airship pirates survival server and possibly build server probably um, that are set up they gave this example for players so that they could make their own file well what I found is that without a step-by-step -step or a little bit more information on how to do this it was actually pretty tricky uh, so what you're going to want to do, uh, we're going to use Cancun as an example. So, this is basically a, uh, uh, you know, this is where it lists all the sieges. Here's, you know, sieges. Here's the first region that is siegeable. And here's all the nodes of configuration. Well, the ones you're going to want to pay attention to, to add your own region into this file. And what I would do right away right away. Delete everything but one region. So you delete all that and let's you know what let's move all this go ahead follow my commands select everything go to a uh, notepad plus plus is really the best one paste everything within that notepad plus plus like I said copy everything in this file then go to your notepad I prefer Notepad++. You'll have a new document. Paste everything you got from that, <laughs> from that, uh, within this new Notepad document. The first thing I would do, like I said, is delete every region but one. Start with just one region. Trust me. Just so. Once you have your one example region that you got from the file from the video from the example, the you know, Dropbox link. You have to change three things uh, for your own region to be able to work. Uh, one would be the listing of it. Uh, our example region here is Cancun. Then the siege region name, which again, replace this with Cancun. <laughs> Lastly, region to control and again Cancun
and voila we are done with the editing part of that file this is going to be a working siege uh, configuration for this one region and now that you have one region working you can go ahead and copy paste and you know continue on adding regions region by region at, at your own desire there's a few nodes of control uh, to note duration delay before start uh, schedule the start and end the daily income the owner gets from this region uh, if it gets uh, if there's multipliers for people who already have regions when they siege this region or, or this you know region in question the cost to siege the initial initial cost to siege and then the the vehicles that are allowed to complete the siege that will actually if so the person who started the siege is in one of these in that region by the end of the uh, siege duration they will take over that region become the new owner owners can set certain flags so that maybe only they can build there etc etc um, so now that you have this working you want you want to make sure it's saved properly this is where like I said you wanted to pay attention to the sieges.yml we're literally I am going to copy right from there um, just to make sure if in case it's uh, cap sensitive or case sensitive um, go ahead save your new config file for your region put in sieges and now save as type needs to be yaml I like to save it to my desktop I already have one there let's go ahead and overwrite it yes sure let's overwrite that baby so here's my my new configuration file uh, I'm not sure how you access your files whether you have the server on your computer or whether you have a, a, a browser through a host or whether you just go through FileZilla because you do have you know an external host and you prefer FileZilla um, I'm gonna show you through FileZilla but basically you drop that sieges configuration file in your movecraft folder I'll show you an example of that just because I said step by step and I said thorough damn it so here's my server folders go to my plugins and let's see move craft there it is pretend I don't have that there I would drag and drop from my desktop bam have my new siege folder and this siege would work as such and I mean what I mean to say is we're now gonna go to an in-game presentation of the siege a few things I want to note right off the bat our server is an earth map server so Cancun is really Cancun Mexico um, so we're gonna go to Cancun and we're gonna test this siege function that we've just created in our server alright we are back again and we are gonna do the demonstration of the siege of that configuration for Cancun that we just made so let's get into first person here anyway so here's the region oh. Yes, welcome to Cancun, Mexico. Let me siege here. Bam. We are preparing to siege Cancun. All players wishing to participate in the defense should head there immediately. This siege, I've sped up so that it happens very quickly so that you guys can all see what's actually happening but I need to get into a craft now don't I alright they have successfully piloted this uh... this, this ship this beautiful purple ship that I love so much 
Now we wait. Wait for it to see if there's any any signs of resistance to the region. And really that's it. So like I said, it works. Um, configuration file works. You have to change that those three parts of that file to your region. Once you change those one, two, three parts, then really that's it. You can get online, make sure it works. As long as your region is properly set up, that's it. You're done. Now you have sieges on your server which can change things immensely. And let me talk about that for a second. Um, I mentioned that cities are what you can use uh, World Guard for. Well, no, that's not true. You can use World Guard for anything. Uh, on our server, we use World Guard for cities to protect them, as we have server cities to buy and sell goods at, cargo cities, etc. Um, but we're planning as well to make it um, an option, possibly for players. Some other servers do this, some don't. And long story short this siege function allows you to be able to have a server to where regions um, in your server can be uh, contested can be taken over by factions of people and fought over so however you want to configure this that's up to you but the possibilities are really quite astonishing um, this has uh, been Captain Gibbons and uh, have a good one and, and now you, you all can go back to killing yourself